Hey what's up guys, Eskazoo here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my settings which I use for FIFA 17. It is something you guys have been asking for quite a lot lately and I thought um, I would take the time to actually make a video on it. So um, yeah, if it's useful then make sure to leave a like on the video and if you're new subscribe as well if you haven't already. But um, yeah, today I'm just going to be showing you what my controller settings are, my camera settings and so on. So uh, let's get right into this. Alright, so if you want to change your settings to the ones I currently am using, uh, they have to do the following. You have to simply go to customize, which you can go to uh, by uh, pressing the RB button or the R1 button, really easy. Then you go to settings and you go to customize controls. And this is where you can see what I use. I don't use the FIFA trainer and I think I have auto switching on, I think, on air balls. Yeah, you can see it right there. A lot of people actually uh, put this on, I think, manual or they put it on off or something. I don't know. I basically just have the, the default settings. The only thing I changed uh, on this page is the FIFA trainer. So that's the only thing really. Uh, and this is just the basic stuff. A lot of people use the pass settings where uh, this is the shoot button and this is the cross button, but I just use the regular ones. All right, so now we are diving into my camera settings, which actually have changed quite a bit compared to, I think what most of you guys have. Um, I'm actually currently playing on telly, which is, I guess you could call it the old school version of the camera angle, uh, which is in the game. Um, EA actually used this one as a default, I think from FIFA 09 onwards to, I think FIFA 11. In FIFA 12, they decided to change it to sort of telly broadcast and then I think every single year they they just change it slightly and um, I decided to use this one since I feel it's it plays a lot better and it is also a lot easier to actually pull off the skill moves with I feel anyway and it's just my favorite angle it looks the best I feel and um, yeah this is the one I'm using so it's called telly you can just change it to whatever you like there are so many different options a lot of people also use the co-op one which is like very zoomed out uh, that's the one my brother actually uses but um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of this one so you can see it right there telly on a single player multiplayer then i go to custom and i put everything on zero um, you can also do it by default and then i think everything is on 10 or it is on 9 7 that is what it used to be i think in fifa 16 but um i have it on custom and i put everything on zero basically that's basically it uh, then we're going to move to visual where i actually have changed something as well that is the uh, gamer tech indicator i decided to put it on because it also gives me that kind of old school feeling because this used to be a thing um, that was like default back in FIFA 10 as well. I think they decided to remove it from FIFA 12 onwards, I think. Um, and I really want to have it back in the game for some reason because whenever I make a goals compilation, I just find it really cool um, to see your own gamer tag, if that makes sense. I just, I just really like it that way. So um, yeah, that's the only thing I changed, I think. Radar is, I think, on default as well. Net tension. And I think I decided to put the scrolling lineups on off, which I find really annoying. Like when you go into a game, I think the first few seconds you see like a bar uh, where you can see the, the lineup of your own team, which I kind of find yeah, annoying to, uh, to see when you're playing. Rules, they're all default. I don't think they actually apply for uh, for online play. Uh, audio is on English. Everything else is just normal. And this is also offline stuff. Uh, now, there's one more thing I want to let you guys know. And that is uh, some of the tactics I use when I'm actually playing the game. And they're actually really easy. They're not that difficult compared to a lot of people. Because I know a lot of the pro players mess around with the speed and the passing stuff. I don't know. But I never really messed around with it. And I don't really feel like doing it anyway. But the only thing I do when I play a game is press up on the D-pad and press up again. And that's it. If I'm losing, I might go on attacking or ultra attacking. But that's pretty much it. I never go on defensive or ultra defensive because I feel it just ruins my play style. And yeah, I just, I just not really a big fan of it in, in all honesty. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because that uh, when you're playing on counter attack, it actually looks like that you're playing on ultra defensive. The only I think that is different compared to ultra defensive and counter attack is that only two of your defenders or maybe even one actually sits back very very deep and your fullbacks are basically at their normal positions uh, when you're actually not playing on, uh, on counter attack. Um, that's actually the thing I noticed anyway. I also do notice that when your opponent has the ball on his own half, your players actually sit back very very deep so almost um, at your own box. I know it's kind of like annoying to play against but I find it really annoying myself when you're playing with defenders such as uh, for example Sergio Ramos or even Koulibaly who has high attacking work rates and they are like almost over the halfway line when your opponent has the ball on his own half. Like you can get countered so, so easily. And that's something that happened uh, to me a lot during FIFA 16. And um, yeah, just using counter attack 
just pretty much helps that kind of stuff so um, yeah if you haven't used it before definitely try it out because um, it is something I've been using since the start of FIFA 17 and has been uh, very very useful for myself but anyway guys that's pretty much where I'm going to be ending off this video let me know in the comments down below if it's been useful for you guys as well and um, if you have any custom tactics that you use which you find very useful then let me know in the comments down below as well because I might even try them out or maybe someone else wants to try out yours as well but anyway that's going to be the end hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye bye